Hi there, hope everything is good day. Welcome back to another video. Today we have another Kobe shoe that Adidas brought back this year. Previously known as the KB8, and this is now the Crazy 8. The two most important things first, retail price is 140 US dollars or 180 Canadian dollars. Uh, I saw these in store going for like 40% off, so I copped. But it was super confusing because the Adidas website sells these for $30 cheaper than the Adidas store. Also Foot Locker and Champs here. Long story short, I thought I got a good deal, but apparently not. If you need a good reason to convince yourself for the purchase, um, this is technically Kobe's first ever signature shoe. Anyways, second thing is for sizing, I went down a half size and it's still too big. Yeah, my feet measured to be a true size 10 and a half. My left foot is actually an 11 to be exact. And this size 10 pair is still too big. For most people, I would recommend going down a full size if you're actually gonna be hooping in these. Casual wear, I think you can manage a half size down or even true to size, but it's obviously best if you can try them out in person to see for yourself because sizing here is very tricky. I always went down the half size with the Crazy One Top 10 2000. True to size in these older Adidas models. It's just way too loose for me. Just thought I'd point that out first. And please share your sizing experiences in the comments if you have a pair of these. Now let's get right into all the other good stuff. Nothing special with the box. They just come in the old school Adidas box with the three stripes on top. Materials wise, it's got a new back upper. It feels pretty nice and soft in hand. From the way it turned out in person, this is almost like a faded black color. The collar area has a thick layer of padding. That's a plus to me. And also features a herringbone traction pattern. The torsion system, I believe is to build that bridge-like effect between front and back. They also put the Feet You Wear logo on there. No visible Kobe details. I mean, they did rename the shoe and everything. Weight is for sure on the heavier side, as expected. My size 10 pair is exactly 500 grams. On feet, they feel okay. Not a stupid heavy shoe with no flexibility. And trust me, it bends more easily than you'd expect. Cushion and comfort are probably my favorite parts about this shoe. Compared to the Crazy One, for example, there's no stiff feeling on feet. It also doesn't feel like a big chunky brick like those do. A lot of these vintage Adidas hoop shoes are nicely padded on the interior. Same goes with these as we talked about. It's just an EVA missile, no crazy bounce or responsiveness, but it's a fairly smooth ride. And once again, not a brick when you press down underneath. Like it gets the job done. Traction, I mean, if you're gonna actually play in these, in my standard, it gets a pass. Like decent, but not great. There's pretty much no squeak to the outsole. That's not surprising. Testing them on hard stops was not bad. They did pick up dust pretty quickly, but for outdoor use, yes, the durability will be fine. Fit, we talked about this early on, half size down or full size down. I had to double sock sometimes, even with half size down. The laces are way too long, and I really wish they had an extra eyelet on top. From a performance perspective, downsides will be the lockdown and upper stability. Hill slippage is in the DNA of Adidas. Adidas is hill slippage. Stability, you think this is a sturdy and chunky shoe, but in upward motions, I felt shaky sometimes that my feet would wobble around laterally. Too much wiggle room inside. For streetwear and casual use, I say the comfort and materials are quite nice for a shoe that originally came out during that time from the late 90s to early 2000s. Overall, in terms of comfort and playability on the court, I think this beats the crazy one and top 10 2000, I guess. From all these Kobe shoes that they bring back in the past year or so, this one is the best in my opinion. But let me know how you feel about the Adidas Crazy 8 down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.